Hi, I'm Kurt Regester. I'm an assistant professor. I'm the vertebrate ecologist here at Clarion University. We've been uh, carrying on a hellbender research project for about eight years, and we're primarily interested in documenting the disease ecology, the demography, and really assessing the long-term conservation of the species uh, in the western half of the state. Our research over the years has revealed some fairly interesting results. Most significantly, our data is showing that we have a really good, healthy, hopefully sustainable population of hellbenders in our state. All the demographics look good, the disease issues are fairly minimal, and we feel like we are really now responsible for protecting and conserving this core population in Pennsylvania. We've had many, many students, both undergraduate uh, and graduate students, involved in this research project over the years. And in fact, from one year to the next, we're you know, building on the previous year's work. So the credit for the project really goes to a lot of these undergraduates who have contributed to the project. They've worked on all different aspects of the project and essentially get a lot of field skills, capturing the animals, looking at water quality and siltation issues, data entry and data analysis in the lab. And we've recently begun to train students in molecular biology, doing some of the lab work associated with disease testing. With hellbenders, one of the fundamental issues and problems with, with conservation and, and the research that we're using for those conservation decisions is that there are very, very few long-term studies. Most studies of hellbenders are, are one or two years at most. The reason we keep going back is our goal is to generate a long-term data set, in fact, one that really doesn't exist. We're into our eighth year now and that long-term information is going to be very, very important in terms of making conservation decisions about these animals.